Well, I'm actually a classical musician by trade, but I've always had a love of computers though since being a kid. I think definitely inspired by movies and real life hacking stories. I definitely think hacking is one of the coolest things you can do with computers, and I always figured I'd want to learn the skill set one day. So for over five years, the only thing that I did was attack. Absolutely everything was red team oriented and primarily focused around ethical hacking of web applications. So it was a pretty narrow scope. I spent a lot of time playing capture the flag also. The end result was a very specific, not especially well-rounded skill set. So CCT helped to fill in the missing foundational information, network defense, standards and compliance, incident handling and response, risk management, digital forensics. I have a much better understanding of cybersecurity as a whole and feel more confident acting in a defensive capacity. Well, there are certain things that most computer users have experience with using antivirus software, knowing to avoid opening certain emails or clicking certain links. But there are other areas of cybersecurity that the average person is just unlikely to know anything about unless they have a very specific job role. For example, operational technology and industrial control systems, internet of things, technology and protocols, different types of cloud attack and possible threat vectors when using virtualization. Obviously, someone somewhere has to know about these things in order to secure them. So it's great that they're covered in the CCT course. Well, personally, I already had quite a bit of experience working on Linux systems and configuring a Linux web server, but I basically had zero experience working with a Windows server and configuring an active directory domain. I also had pretty limited experience with network defense in general. So the labs were really helpful in clearing up some of those concepts. Ultimately, I'm mostly here for the ethical hacking. So the most fun were the information security attacks, ARP poisoning, MAC flooding, SQL injection, HTTP tampering, fairly basic attacks in the labs, but fun nonetheless. I would say that just in general, CTF is a great way to get practical experience exploiting various vulnerabilities. That's why it's so widespread in the cybersecurity industry in general. Some of these attack vectors are complex enough that simply reading about them in a textbook is not going to give you a full rounded understanding. So the CTF exercises are absolutely mandatory in this case. I actually already signed up for the Certified Ethical Hacker program a couple of weeks before taking my CCT exam. And definitely CCT is a good entry point for getting experience with the EC Council exam format. So I definitely like the fact that there was plenty of time on the CCT exam. I definitely think these things should be a test of knowledge rather than a test of speed. I actually finished the exam with over an hour to spare and I was able to use that time to revisit a couple of the practical questions that I hadn't solved the first time around. I really just always like courses where you can do everything online at your own pace. I'm sure there are other formats for the CCT program, but that's definitely the format that I enjoy the most. Well, I didn't receive any job offers, but I also didn't apply for any jobs. I do, however, feel more well-rounded as a hacker and definitely feel happy about the fact that I have a certification. I'm definitely open to employment in the future. My speciality is in teaching and I plan to continue making educational content in the cybersecurity field going forward.